Right, hi there guys, Adam here for Dirtbox.net as usual and welcome back to Dirtbox TV. Today we're doing another pedal demonstration, pedal review and we're going to be looking at the Clinch FX EP Pre. Now the market seems to have taken a bit of a boom in this area with kind of Echoplex input stage recreation but this one's heralded as pretty much the king. Made um, down in Australia by a small team and they're really great people to deal with, really friendly, fast communications with email etc. This is basically a, an analogue recreation of the input stage of a, an old um, Echoplex, Echoplex 3 I think particularly, the EP3. The story has it that back in the day plenty of guitarists would plug into this tape echo unit and not even run the delay, not even run the tapes. They would just kind of like the sound that the preamp had, add a little bit of um, colour as well as a slight bit of volume, there's not a lot of volume boost in, in this pedal, even all the way around, I mean the difference between sort of setting it um, here and all the way around is negligible. What you get instead of volume is a bit more of the character of the circuit through, or at least that's the way it sounds to me. A lot of people have had great things to say about this. Pete Thorne, I know, is an avid user. Like I said, it just adds a bit of that magic pixie dust, that magic gold dust to your tone. For me, there's a significant improvement, and I've found, like, the majority of people I've spoke to who use this pedal, in fact, I think all, um, they just leave it turned on all of the time. Clinch Effects recommended to me, they said try it um, at the beginning of your chain and at the end of your chain, and I preferred it at the, the beginning of the chain. It's quite difficult to describe, so without further ado, let's check it out. The Clinch FX EP Pre. Okay guys, so here we have it. The Clinch FX EP Pre. I'm running through the trusty Sir S4. Uh, Statesman 1x12 Quad EL84 version. With a little bit of the spring reverb blended in. A basic clean tone. <laughs> Okay, so let's set it at unity gain, which is with the knob about a quarter of the way up, um, around about the nine o'clock setting. So here we are, clean take it on. And switch in the EP pre. So you see how that adds a nice colour. There's a slight boost, but not really in terms of volume, in terms of certain frequency. A lot more studio, a lot more... I don't know, that's just the impression I get. Maybe your impression's different. But the differences are quite negligible at this setting. And um, you can hear it in the room. I'm not sure how that's going to translate under a recording. Roll the knob up to noon, and now you should hear a lot more of that effect. So, clean signal again. <laughs> There is a, a slight volume increase, increase again with the knob at noon, but you don't really get much more volume boost than that, and it's not really a great deal. A couple of decibels maybe. Let's roll that all the way up, just to show you the maximum kind of boost volume. My favourite setting is having this the knob at around about 1, 2 o'clock, about 1.30 and yeah it just really fattens up a clean guitar sound. about on a, a dirty channel it does that it, it's really great it just drives the input of the amp a little bit harder and gets a little bit more natural grit out of your amp so he's a low gain setting again with a tiny splash of reverb just for a bit of depth <laughs> And 
again we'll put the knob at um, the unity volume position. <laughs> As you can see, it just it seems to fatten up the sound a lot with the volume knob at noon without the pedal. And finally with the knob all the way up, just for comparison's sake. Okay, so I'll put it back in my favourite setting around the one o'clock position. Add a little bit of delay, courtesy of the TC Electronic Nova Repeater. And yeah, here we go without the pedal. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it guys, the Clinch FX EP Pre. A really great pedal, I have it at the front of my pedal board and leave it always on. It just, it really just adds something extra. Slight volume boost to drive your amp a little bit harder and it's really quite difficult to describe. Definitely check out clinchfx.com and put an order in with Peter and Mandy. You won't be disappointed with the customer service and I guarantee you won't be disappointed with the pedal. Check it out and of course check out dirtbox.net for more great gear reviews, video demonstrations, DIY tips and tricks etc etc. And if you want to talk about the Clinch FX EP Pre or indeed any other pedal why not check out Dirtbox's forum. Sign up there and talk with like minded individuals about gear and stuff. So until next time guys this has been Adam Einside for Dirtbox TV. Take it easy.